Welcome back to Leading Edge. Good to have you along with us. Where I live, I am seeing a lot of yard signs calling for fair districts. Uh, so I looked real closely at the bottom of the sign and it says fairdistrictsohio.org. And I knew instinctively this had to do with legislative districts. Uh, but I also thought that we'd all decided at the ballot box some time ago that we wanted fair districts and had even approved a system to ensure that happens. I want to welcome into Leading Edge, Executive Director of Common Cause of Ohio, Catherine Terser. Uh, she had chaired, I think she chaired, if, I'm going to make you the chairman of the Fair District Fair Elections <laughs> Ballot Initiatives, the ones to which I referred, Common Cause, where she's the Executive Director, along with people like the League of Women Voters, both part of the Fair Districts Ohio effort. So welcome in, good to see you. First thing, and for clarity. We have state legislative districts, Senate and Ohio House, those folks serve in Columbia. We have congressional districts from which we like people to represent us in the U.S. House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. We also just had a census, 2020. So this is law that we must revisit and redraw as necessary, our legislative districts. I mean, what's wrong with them now? So the way to look at it, and well, I should start by saying thank you so much Good for having you on. Um, but what I would like to highlight is that every 10 years we do a census and we figure out how many people there are, and this helps us figure out the new district lines because every district is supposed to be about the same in population. And what we also know is we have a history of completely manipulating those district lines so they favor one party over another, which is generally understood to be gerrymandering. That notion that you know the manipulation of district lines, of course, manipulates the election. And we are now going into the period where we are going to begin to redraw those district lines. And okay, Kat, who, who does the redrawing? So it's the Ohio Redistricting Commission that does the state legislature and the state legislature does Congress. All right, the goal of the new districts is or should be, you've already pointed out that we think, in fact, what, didn't they call it the, the bunker? when 10 years ago, when they were, they actually, state lawmakers went to some what, some hotel across from the Capitol and decided among themselves, okay, who wants this district? Who's gonna benefit? I mean, that's how we got there. The goal of the new districts in your mind should be what? So the goal of the new districts should be focused on transparency and that whole notion of these districts should not be drawn in a hotel room, you know, just within feet of the state house. The, the whole process should be much more transparent. The new rules that the Ohio voters put into the con Ohio Constitution focus on keeping communities whole. So there's a focus on, for example, keeping a county together. Um, there's also a real fo focus on making sure that the map making is bipartisan this time, rather than dominated by one political party. All right, but there will be members of both political parties on the commission. And given the makeup of the offices that go in there, Republicans will have more members on this commission than do Democrats. And so some would say, well, there you go, what's going to change? But there is language in there that we all approved that should, that should help us understand that even the minority party doesn't get steamrolled. I think the best way to look at it is it's not like it's even Stephen. They're the same number of Democrats as Republicans. Yes, there are in fact more Republicans that will be serving on the Ohio Redistricting Commission. But the way that it works is to get that 10 year map, there have to be four folks that approve the map. Two of them need to be Democrats, two of them need to be Republicans. And so the way to understand this is even though, you know, there will be five Republicans that will be sitting on that that commission, the Ohio Redistricting Commission, that doesn't mean that the Democrats don't have what I think of as an effective veto. It's ah. that kind of like, you could get all the Republicans, you don't get a map. I look at super majorities in both chambers of the Ohio legislature. I see three quarters of our congressional representatives to the U.S. House of Representatives are Republicans, neither of which mirror the electoral makeup of Ohio, do they? No, and I think we should be having a sense of, we're talking about the manipulation of these districts. You know, let's take, for example, um, the 9th Congressional District, that's Marcy Capter's district. And so it starts in Toledo, you know, where, where Marcy Capter lives and works its way all the way to Cleveland. The snake on the lake. The snake and on the point, lake. 
look at the map, people. At some times you look at the district, it's about it's about the width of a road, <laughs> it seems like, as it wends its way along the shoreline of Lake Erie. Um, and jumps over Sandusky County. When you think it, in many cases, it's marshy. If you were to try to walk it, you would get your feet wet. Um, clearly a, manip a manipulated district. Um, I look at the Ohio electoral map, however, because I follow this stuff. It is a sea of red. You have mm -hmm. to give me that, Catherine, but then you got your, your, your blotches of blue. And yes, they're in the cities, Cleveland here, Toledo, you're doing in, in Columbus, so forth. Um, so how do we deal with that? These bastions of blue in an otherwise red, sit, uh, red state. I mean, geography does have something to do with these new districts. So how do we make that work? Well, we shouldn't any of us go into this thinking that all of the districts are gonna be competitive. What we're focusing on is fair districts. So fair districts that focus on keeping a community whole, focus on not you know, creating these kind of crazy manipulations like that snake on the lake. It's that notion that you know some districts are just going to be Republicans. Some districts are just going to be Democrats because that is the way that, that Ohioans live. You know, that you know, there are more Democrats in cities and at this point in the suburbs, and there are more Republicans in the more rural areas. Uh, and as far as the congressional- on, Whether goes, you're a we... Democrat or Republican is to actually participate in a meaningful election. And that's why this is so important. If they do it right, you could actually have some emphasis on keeping school districts. How about that? She mentioned communities, yes, but what if you could keep a school district from being divided in different districts out there. Uh, and yeah, we I think that's, point... that's actually one of the real main point is that notion of we have not had good representation of our community. So like, for example, to, you know, when we talk about that snake on the lake, you're thinking, is Toledo properly represented as a community? You know, is Cleveland and Cuyahoga County, you know, properly represented? No. And in fact, Ohio voters overwhelmingly passed redistricting reform. And so we're going into this year you know, with new rules, and hopefully when the map makers get started in the fall, um, we will get those fair districts. But we really do need to pay really good attention to what they're doing. Okay, this is, you're getting me to where I want to go here. Um, uh, with great background, thank you, Catherine, so very much on that. So I'm seeing these signs, and I'm asking myself, what do they about? Is this just awareness? Is there a call to action? If so, what do you want people to be doing even now? So I think it's important for all of us to understand that these voting districts make a difference and they impact our vote. And so it is a sign to encourage the map makers, of course, to do the right thing, but it's also to encourage all of us to pay really good attention when the map makers start to create maps. And you know, we can write letters to them, we can um, attend public hearings. There are a variety of things that we can do because the process will be more transparent this year. There are lots of different ways that all of us citizens can get engaged and really push so that our maps are representative of our communities and ourselves. Catherine Tursher is Executive Director of Common Cause. What is, let's wrap up here. What is the timetable? What should I and my viewers be watching for? I mean, next. So the timetable is a little complicated because the decennial census is delayed, right. but we'll begin map making in the fall and everyone should pay close attention and thank you all. All right, nicely done. I want to thank Catherine Terser, Common Cause Ohio um, for joining us and being part of the uh, Fair Districts Ohio effort, keeping us on the leading edge of efforts to eliminate gerrymandering and to give us all fairer legislative districts a larger and fairer voice in our government uh we'll uh, we'll be watching and i know you will be too stay in touch and folks i'll be right back thank you so much